So we have a very unique curriculum at Media Day. It's almost like a um, almost like a graduate seminar in classical design, and there's a very structured, pretty involved and lengthy series of steps to learn classical design because um, if you wanted to be a classical designer on your own and you wanted to go to like a university of the arts or more college of design here in Philadelphia or many other places in the, in the country uh, and you were confused you, you got confused by the word design as if that would teach you how to be a designer uh, and these famous fancy schools would seduce you into thinking they would teach you how to actually do something valuable, you would go there and you wouldn't learn a single thing about design because that's the state of the liberal arts and the culture in the country today, um, not only in this country, in many countries around the world. So it, it basically came to a point at which it had to be taught in-house. We had to make a decision to teach it literally as, as the curriculum of joining the company. Uh, so if you were a designer at Media Day, you would literally go through a three, four, five month in-depth graduate level seminar to learn how to design in a classical manner. So when we have our tagline, how would Michelangelo design a website? It's not just a, a catchy slogan that doesn't have any substance behind it, but it really is substantively exactly, literally what we think about. So you would go back and you would study, you know, Michelangelo. You would study works that he's done. Um, you would learn the geometry of Alberti, you would learn um, the geometry of Palladio, and then you would end up lear learning, well, you would go even further back, and you would um, really, through Franciscus Junius, Franciscus Junius is a good window into ancient Greek and Roman height of aesthetics and what beauty was to Plato and Aristotle. So building off of that, then you bring it to the modern times with uh, Palladio, with Alberti, and then lettering, and then, you know, typography, Claude Garamond, uh, John Caslin, um, Alice Manutius, uh, Robert Stephanus, um, right? All these names would become household names to you. You would know exactly what those are, what, what those refer to. You would, you would know much more about those things than you would know about someone living in the 20th century. After three months of in-depth study of classical typography, uh, you would merge that body of thought with really Apple. He, Steve Jobs, is really the, the gateway to how to bring classical typography from Aldous Manutius and how to make it relevant. So, so sort of you take, you take, you know, Garamond's font, you give it a classical layout via Robert Stephanus, and then you merge it with Steve Jobs' computer, internet, website layout. And so three, four, five months later, you come out of that world and you have a very strong understanding of what a classically designed website looks like and uh, it looks very good.